everybody welcome back to some more planet coaster finally starting on a full release park because the last park was the beta park whatever uh this one it took me quite a while to figure out exactly what i wanted to do i did a live stream where we kind of just workshopped some things and talked about what we were going to do in planet coaster and i finally decided to go with the general theme park so this is just going to be a general modern theme park not any specific theme for the whole park i'm just going to build a theme park and then just kind of fill it with whatever the heck i feel like and make things themed after different uh, ideas, concepts, movies, motifs, themes, things like that. Just nothing real specific. So basically what this is, is going to be Seatopia 2.0. Uh, if you guys remember the first park I did in Alpha 2, so that I must have started that back in the midsummer. I called Seatopia, and it was just a random theme park just filled with stuff. And I just felt like doing something like that again, because the last couple parks we did, we've been kind of limiting ourselves. Like, last one we did a sci-fi park, and then before that I did a Halloween park, and before that I did a Middle Earth theme park. And before that, what the heck did I do before the Middle Earth theme park? Uh... Was it Kings Lake? When I made, like, the Renaissance theme park and the Medieval theme park? I think that might have been it. I'm not sure. I've done a lot of parks in this game, alright? They're all kind of melding together uh so outside of the stuff that we're gonna do because uh, we're gonna be theming a lot of the stuff off of random ideas and stuff that i have like i mentioned uh, but we want a constant theme or motif through the park so we're gonna call the Seatopia theme uh i kind of had some different ideas i wanted to do with it i want to work a lot with brick and concrete and then like orange and blue colors and gray so those are the kind of the colors i'm thinking of uh as for the actual architectural style nothing too real for some of the buildings i was definitely inspired by like craftsman style buildings like continental type buildings it, again nothing is specifically taken from anything i'm just sort of inspired by different things it's tough for me because the past couple of parks we've done we've been uh theming them after things so i could literally just take a topic and google it and be like okay i'm gonna do this uh but this one was basically just me making things up as i went along i did research a little bit some architectural styles like i mentioned the craftsman style uh just to get some ideas uh, but for the most part, this was just me just having fun, just trying to make it up as I go. So I'm excited to do this park. If you guys are too, hit that like button. I know it's dumb to ask, but it does help. All that good stuff, and it does help to remind people. Only if you enjoy. That's my caveat. That's how I rationalize telling people to leave likes. Only if you enjoy. If you don't enjoy, you can go ahead and leave a dislike. I don't care. Think I care? I do a little bit, but you know, I'm not, it's not going to keep me up at night. Uh, so here, we're finally going to talk about what we're doing in the park. We're just going to be starting with a little entrance area. Nothing too crazy here, but you definitely see the sort of style I'm going for with the brick and the concrete and then the blue roof. We actually end up switching that from the blue tile roof to a blue uh, wood tile roof. I just think it looks a little better because right now it's kind of the roundish tile, so it looks a little fairy tale-y. A little fairy tale-ish, if you know what I mean. If you're picking up what I'm laying down. And then I do want to lay this out more like an actual theme park, so we're going to have these larger plazas where people can just walk around and spread out in rather than... I, my layouts of my parks haven't been too great in the past. They've basically just been these real narrow corridors, just kind of going from place to place. So I do want to kind of lay this out more like an actual theme park. And I did do some research just kind of looking at how theme parks actually lay out uh, their style and the paths and things like that. Because I don't, honestly, I don't have too much experience going to theme parks. I've been to Disneyland a lot. I went there every year in high school for a band. And then I've been to Six Flags Great America. I went there once in 2008. And I think that's about it. Those are the only theme parks I've ever been to. <laughs> so don't have too much experience in how theme parks are supposed to look. I definitely do plan on going to Great America in the spring. Because I live just like an hour and a half south of it. In Chicago. So uh, it will be fun to definitely go over there sometime this spring. Drag Sarah out there. Even though she doesn't love roller coasters. But you know, it'll be fun to do. Over here, I'm working on a sign. Wanted to actually write Seatopia on the entrance. Wanted to do something a little bigger than just use the in game text based signs, just because those are a little small, a little boring. So I decided to make my own out of these shapes. Got a little bit more experience with these shapes. When I was live streaming on Twitch the other day, we, uh, we made a version of Cormac out of these shapes. Well, it just made his face. It was pretty adorable. In case you didn't know, Cormac's my dog. He's the greatest puppy in the universe. Well, that's not true. Every puppy is the greatest puppy in the universe because puppies are amazing. I like puppies more than I like people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's right in C top here. Not much else to it. Oh, if you guys haven't seen, I did finally get my mitts. My mitts? My mittens? I don't know what, what I was trying to say there. On a HTC Vive. So we started doing some VR videos. And man, that thing is so much fun. Oh, 
Like, I, 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 I have to stop myself from just playing it all day and I should make videos. But it is so much fun. We did a video on this uh, Old West bartending shooting game called Crazy Saloon. You guys should definitely check that out. At the end of the video, I have been using the new end slates in the game, so... Uh, there will be a link to that at the end of the video. It'll be a subscribe button and it'll be a little link to go check out a video. And I'm going to pick that one. It's pretty cool. I finally got that to work. They introduced that feature on YouTube. But I've just been having a ton of fun with the VR games. And I finally got a new mic for them. So I don't have to use the crappy onboard mic. The first two videos I did in VR, I did use the crappy onboard mic. So the audio was terrible. But it's a heck of a lot better now. Oh, it's so much fun. I'm excited to play some more games on it. I want to get some multiplayer games going. Because I have a couple of buddies who have... Uh, Vibes as well. Oh, I just got a snapchat from my sister. Should I bother? Should I answer it? Should I, or should I look at it while making this video? <laughs> Don't have anything else to talk about right now. Let's see what we got here. It is a video of her cat and her dog playing. Aww. That's adorable. She has a cat named Mona and a uh, rich golden retriever puppy named Indy and they're playing. That was adorable. There. I don't know why I did that in the middle of the video. Well, Again, don't have anything to talk about when I'm just doing the random detail stuff like that. I decided, I was trying to figure out exactly what kind of like foliage and trees I wanted to go with for the actual sea top theme. Oh god, this was annoying. It kept snapping over there. Uh, I like the birch and the oak tree, so we're going to be using those. Again, the other foliage and stuff is going to depend on what sort of theme area we're doing. Uh, we don't get into that today in this video. In fact, we don't do any rides today. We just do a couple shops in this video. I know some people will be angry about that. Some people get pissed off at me when I don't like make a roller coaster every episode. I'm like, gosh, just make roller coasters. I'm like, well, no. <laughs> but then some of you have overwhelmingly supported uh, the actual detail and the scenery and stuff. So I know there's, there's people that do enjoy it. So it's a heck with the naysayers. Just trying to figure out a nice little position for that. I'm doing a little information stand here because I probably will do. I'll probably try and do priority passes this, this this park. I haven't been doing them in the past just because we haven't been needing I mean, we're doing sandbox parts. We don't really need money, but a priority pass would be a cool function just to see. So I will try and remember to add them in. The problem with me is I always lay down the paths and then I do the scenery and then I forget about the freaking priority pass. So I'll try and remember to do it this time. Hopefully we'll get that good. <laughs> uh, adding another one over here. We're going to do a bathroom. So just outside the park, we have a little information stand where people can buy priority passes and then a bathroom over in the corner. Uh, hopefully the bathroom doesn't get too busy. It's floating off the ground a little bit right now. I, I didn't notice that when I first placed it, but we do fix it off camera. Added some benches all throughout there. And then I wanted some sort of light post to actually uh, add in this area and just have the uh, sparse around. I do like the light things. Uh, I'm not 100% sold, so I add some lights to the top of it. And we make them like this weird brown color. I'm not in love with them. I may change it. Uh, just trying to figure out a better base for this. Decided to use that little brick base there. Lower them a bit. And then uh, we actually end up going with the uh, up light. And we just turn it upside down instead of the arm light. Because it has a little bit of a smaller profile. So I do like that. It's upside down right now for some reason. There you go. Okay, I figured it out. <laughs> Now, this color looks good at night, but during the day, I didn't love it, which is annoying because I uh, added a whole bunch of these out through the park. So if I didn't change the color, I'm going to have to go back and change it now. So I will we'll decide that now. Maybe I'll just go back to white, maybe like a gray or something. I don't know. The brown isn't bad. Because I am trying to do, keep it uh, within the theme of the Seatopia theme, which is like the brick, concrete, orange, and blue. Those sorts of things. Because I do love orange and blue. Those are probably my two favorite colors. In the world. Yes, believe it or not. I don't know why that's such a shocking revelation. Uh, adding little bars over there, not bars, and some little brick walls and some bushes. Uh, adding some ground railing to these guys because it is easier than having to build my own. And some of them look okay. Let's have that mix up the type of uh, the path in the, in the in in inside area. Good, I'm having trouble talking to guy today, guys. Uh, it's early morning. I'm sleepy. No, it's not super early. It's like 9 a.m. Oh, well. Relatively early. Adding some bushes into these little areas. Didn't really like it, so we end up changing that. My red doesn't look too great. Let's go ahead and get rid of those white bushes. Maybe they put the yellow bushes in there. There we go. We don't need too much in there. And these bushes throughout there. Again, trying to make it a little bit more, like, landscaped and intentional. These paths are being a little bit annoying. For some reason, only one of them was wanted to be on the grid. It was a little odd, but whatever. Uh, the first actual building inside of the park, I wanted to do another sort of Craftsman Continental type inspired building. And we're going to make it a Chief Beef restaurant. Because you guys know, I 
I'm in love with Chief Beef. I'm in love with an anthrop anthropomorphized hamburger. And I don't care who knows. <laughs> what an odd sentence. <laughs> I don't know. But I just wanted a relatively large and grand Chief Beef build in here. Just right on the entrance. Again, working a lot with the brick. Decided to use some of these modern wood pieces. And then some glass kind of installed throughout there. Doing our blue ro uh, blue wooden roof tiles. I don't like how those the, the ones that come to the point, there's like a gap in between them. It's really annoying. It doesn't look very good. I don't know why it does that. Like the other pieces, there isn't a gap in between. So that's kind of annoying, but whatever. And I don't love the blue roof. Maybe I'll switch to like a gray or something. Because I would like it to be... Or maybe we'll do the metal roof. I don't know. I don't love the metal roof just because it... I know it's stupid for me to say because it's only in one color and it's blue and it's similar to the roof color I'm using already. So we might actually switch that. This looks a little bit too dated, having the roof tiles like that. So I might switch it here and on the entrance to the metal roofs. Just because I do want them to be blue. Maybe that, that quite blue. I don't know. That'd be great if we could change the color of the metal roofs. Oh, that would make me so, so happy. And the like, you know. Uh, just adding some details up there right here. I don't really like how that one window is kind of tucked behind the wood there. I think we're going to remove that. And a nice little chandelier or candelabra or whatever to the entrance. And then some lights facing down just to light up that area. And then trying to figure out a nice little Chief Beef sign to put there. Chief Beef! There we go. Making it nice and centered. Make sure it's lined up. And then trying to fix this path so it stops being so stupid. Having, having a little bit of trouble, that is a complaint people still have about this game, is the path system is a little bit wonky, a little bit annoying sometimes. We extended that entrance uh, plaza, made it a little bit bigger. Probably do some detail work in there. Add a chief beef on the inside. Gonna go ahead and close that so it looks better. So, people are coming to a theme park, and j just for a burger stand. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a pretty damn big burger stand. And I wanted the deeper entrance, so it looks like people are actually going inside and spending some more time in there. Rather than just having it on the face of the building. Adding some little plazas on the side here. If it gets too congested in there, because it is kind of a narrow in entrance and exit, I may actually pop holes in the walls there and have uh, paths come out. So there's multiple ways in and out of the line. I think that might be good. If it gets a little bit too congested, we'll do that. It shouldn't. Maybe initially when the park opens and this is like the only food place in the entire park. But once we start expanding from there, it should be good. Hopefully. We'll see. Uh, we do want to do a lot of food areas in this. Make it a denser park. We've had a lot of open space in parks in, in our uh, park sections in the past. But that's mainly due, it's a, mainly a byproduct of the fact that I've been doing the sort of real specific theming and, the, uh, and separated areas. This, this park is going to be a lot more disjointed and kind of crammed together. Kind of like a real theme park is. Or at least what I've experienced in real theme parks. <laughs> So instead of having the separate and defined areas, like this is this section, this is this section, everyone's going to be kind of more put together. But there you go, guys. That is the beginning to Seatopia. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, definitely let me know. If you have any ideas or things to do in the park, also let me know. Also let me know if you uh, like Tuesdays. I don't know, man. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll see you guys next time for some more. Thank you, sir. Bye.